In this video, we're going to discuss how to take an existing survey and create a custom template out of it. You could do this to retain custom item layout or heading information, or to retain just about any information held within a survey. We're going to use the sample survey of Don Juan to illustrate this. Before we get started, let's print out Don Juan so we can have a look of what is contained within it by default. Once this finishes, you can see it's a full survey with photographs, company logos, findings and recommendations, a full photo page, and just in general, it is a full, functional, final product survey. Going back into Force 5 now, we're going to do some things to highlight this. First of all, we're going to rename a few sections. Starting with the category name of Hull Construction, we're going to put Edited at the end to illustrate the change. We're also going to move down the type underneath material and then rename it to also say edited at the end. You'll now see that whole construction says edited at the end to reflect our edited status as well as type. Edited is only there because that's what I chose to highlight what we're doing. But you'll notice that even though type moved down under material, it still retains its findings, its edit data. Everything about it is the same except for the name. We're also, under exterior hull, going to add a bookmark. Now that we've done that, we're ready to take this survey and convert it into a template. We can do that by clicking the Open an Existing Survey File button to get to the Survey Management window. In this case, in my samples. You select the survey you want to convert into a template, and then press Convert to Template on the right. That brings up the Survey to Template wizard. The first thing you want to do is rename the template. By default, it'll have the name of the survey you're converting. We'll change this to Demo. At this point, I need to point out that the top section here is items that we largely view as very specific to a vessel. I don't recommend retaining any of this information in your template. The risk of it getting carried over without being edited out is too high. However, you have the ability to do that here. The way that this window works is if you want information to be retained in your template and moving forward into all surveys created from the template, you need to remove the check. For instance, if I wanted all photographs to remain in my template and all surveys created using that template, I would remove the check from photos and all photos from this survey would be imported into the template. A side note here, a few things are always pulled over into templates, one of which being the layout or format of the survey. The other would be item choices. Item choices from the original survey come from the template it was originally created in. All item choices that that survey had available to it will be pulled into the template and will be available with any future surveys you make from that template. Now for this demonstration, we're going to remove all this information up top as well as photos and NAID. So what we're going to keep in our template is our bookmarks and our formatting. With this set up the way we want, we'll press the Make button and it'll make a new 
template called demo. We'll get a convenient message telling us that it was created successfully. Now to use our new template, we click the new survey button. I'll make a new survey now called demo. And just for simplicity, I'm going to put demo as all the information here needed to start the survey. And of course, in our list of templates, if we scroll down, we'll see our demo template. We'll use that. To check and see which template your survey is using, you can click on the name of the survey at the top like this and it'll tell you which template you're using. In this case, our new demo template. If we check the system section in the hull deck and superstructure, we will see that our hull construction section has the edited tag as we've instructed. And if we drill down into that, we'll see that the type item has been moved down below material and also says edited. You'll see now that there's no findings associated with this and no edit window information. Also note that our bookmark for the exterior hull is retained because that's what we've instructed the template creator to do. If I print out this as it is, you'll notice it's only seven pages. The reason for that is that without any of the information in the template, we have no photos, no cover photos, and no real information that we're going to need to put in. Certainly no findings and recommendations.